Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kim and if you like embroidery, if you like crafting, if you like art, well actually art's my other channel. I have an art channel as well so please feel free to pop over to that one. It's called Kim Thane's Art Channel, okay? I'm gonna leave that one for my art. It's a bit different to this, it's a lot different actually. Uh, yeah, so today we're gonna be designing some sweatshirts which actually I have already designed, I did them yesterday but I'm gonna cut one out today and I'm gonna film the process. I'm gonna be using a puffed um, ink transfer, right? So basically, it's um, it's this stuff here, all right? And it comes in rolls like this. Well, it depends on where you buy it from. So I've got a pink here, which I haven't used yet, and I've got a nice white, okay? So yeah, there's those. And um, this shiny side here is the actual, you can't, I don't know, yeah, you can see it from that light. That's the actual uh, stuff. And then we're gonna, what we do is we lay it down on the shiny side and we leave the matte side facing up. And therefore, is that right? No, we don't. <sighs> oh, right. So the shiny side here is the actual stuff, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay it matte side down, shiny side up, okay? And then we're gonna be cutting out, all right? Now then. I'm going to get on with the job at hand, but before I do, behind me is one that I prepared earlier. Now, I am all about um, mental health and stuff like that, and yes, I have mental health issues, okay? Um, yeah, I wouldn't say I'm, you know, what can I say? Oh, I've got to be careful what I say. Right, I've got to get this out because otherwise my battery's going to run out and I'm not going to have enough 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 battery to last for my video right start again Ugh. i'm all about mental health okay now i um suffer with anxiety i overthink a lot of things and yeah i do i i do get stressed out and a lot of us do but i've designed a t-shirt or a sweatshirt should i say what i've done is i've designed it and i've put a couple of little added sayings quotes on there because I thought it looked quite nice. Now, my daughter said maybe I should just leave the one on the front and just leave it as that and maybe put a little, um, I don't know, motif or something there. But the whole idea of it is like a self-help sweatshirt. I'll go and get it for you in a minute. So here it is. This is the finished design. And basically it says, think happy thoughts. Now, those of you that have seen previous videos will know that I have a little cut which has this precise saying on it and I like that saying and on the arm I have put this it's probably upside down but free the mind okay so basically think happy thoughts free the mind and on the sleeves so that you can read them to yourselves I put a little saying relax I don't know if it's back to front on here but can you see that yeah. relax and then on the other sleeve is and breathe now i love the colors they're really like neutral tones i've got the, this dusky pink here i've got this nice sand color and i've got a nice dusky green okay it's actually a really nice green i don't know if it looks yeah it looks about right in there okay and this was a practice one okay so hence why i put <laughs> along there I've put think happy thoughts, okay? So this one's for me, really. And I've also put relax and breathe on the sleeves as well, that one. But the front is um, lots of different words, but I am not going with this here, okay? No, I do overthink things a hell of a lot, and I do like that design, but because we're using a puffed um, heat transfer vinyl, so to speak, it's not the best designs to do it in. Um, I think the smaller the design, the better it is. Um, so I don't like this. I'm not that keen on that, but I like all the others. And yeah, I definitely, what I definitely like is, I like this font here. I love it. I think it looks perfect. So I'm gonna be sticking with this design. I have put them on my Etsy shop already. And yes, they are currently at 49, I think 49.95, okay? Um, and then I'm posting worldwide, 
so if anyone wants one please go ahead and order one there are they are sort of like on a pre-order basis so it's about a three week wait i will let you know um that's if you want one and um honestly i think for those of us out there that do you know overthink things that do um you know suffer with a lot of stress and anxiety uh it's just a reminder really it's just a reminder while you're wearing it and i like it and i like them oversized as well now i need to lose a few pounds anyway so i am on a slimming world diet at the moment so i'm hoping this will be my first week so i will tell everybody how much i lose in this week and um yeah so i'll keep you updated on that and then i might give you an idea of what i'm eating as well to lose that weight but um yeah i do need to lose a few pounds so um at the moment what i've got on is a large i prefer the extra large so because it's more of a slouchy you know relax chill out at home you know kind of thing or chill out outside look nice with jeans i must admit lovely with a pair of jeans i've got a denim skirt on my mind so yeah um i'm gonna definitely make a thing of this i'm definitely gonna keep to this okay so basically what i'm gonna be doing i'm gonna be doing some embroidery videos all right for those of you out there that want to keep learning embroidery and keep watching and i'm also going to be um concentrating on this design here this shirt i think i'm going to go with this and th this is what i'm going to aim at and i'm going to work at it and keep it you know we'll see how it goes and yeah so I'm looking forward to carrying on doing this. I will show you how to use the puffed HTV vinyl. Um, it's not, I say it's not easy. It's not easy when you haven't got a heat press. I have not got a heat press. So depending on how well this goes, I may invest in a heat press eventually. But at the moment I'm using my household iron. Um, I could get, to save a bit of money, actually I could get just a cricket press because I don't really need a big heat press at all really i've got a little mini heat press cricket press um but I, I wouldn't mind getting one of those you know 12 by 12s whatever they are so i might invest in one of those so it's timing with this now i've learned how to do it through that other one how many seconds and how hot the iron has to be um it's a bit hit and miss it says 10 seconds to be it's funny quite quite funny really because on the um on the instructions it says 10 seconds at i can't remember now but it says 10 seconds at let me get my phone and i will tell you hang on a minute okay so basically it's an iron 3d effect puffed touch htv vinyl the, the wind's picking up here um we had as you probably already know we've had a really bad storm a couple of days ago or the day before yesterday i did a little bit of footage i might put this in at the end of this video we'll see but my hair is blowing right out of the way and you can see all my grey hair. At the minute I've covered it, well sort of covered it, in a spray because I haven't been to the hairdressers to have my hair done because of all my hospital appointments and so on. Um, for those of you that watched one of my previous videos about all that, I am apparently all good, okay? I'm good now. So everything's been took away that needed to be took away and I am good. So, here you've got to set your heat press at 135 degrees Celsius so, and apply even medium pressure. Is that a medium pressure? Now, I had it on, I was pushing the iron down um, when I was practicing and I was just pushing it firmly. But then a heat press is quite firm, isn't it? So your hand compared to a heat press is probably, medium is probably about good. And it says press for 10 seconds. Now, I, I varied it. I did it for 10 seconds and sometimes it worked sometimes it didn't so i did it for eight seconds i did it for seven seconds and it was okay and then i did it for eight seconds and it was spot on uh and then you peel it off hot uh when it's hot but it just peels away anyway the majority of the time i think that if you are able to just peel it without it curling off then you've got it cracked it's right if it starts to curl off when you've took the iron off or the heat press off i think it's too hot and then the heat transverse vinyl tends to go like funny i'll show you on this one this is a practice one so um where is it there look so here hang on 
can you see it's not it's like crinkly it's not I think it's been overheated there um, whereas the others turned out pretty okay well that that one there wasn't too bad the smaller one so it was all practice 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 okay and yeah like I said it worked out about eight seconds I had my iron on at the hottest temperature as well so hottest temperature eight seconds seemed perfectly fine for me so right without further ado I'm gonna get on with the job at hand I think I've already said that once or twice and I'm gonna do the next um, sweater in the next color that I've got and I hope you enjoy the video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe and uh, yeah but please comment comment like comment 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 because and like 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 because it really does help the video okay it helps my channel um yeah and pop over to my etsy shop and have a look see what you think i've tried to take as many good pictures as possible i will have more pictures in the future uh i can't really say much more than that i don't think right i'm gonna get on with the job at hand so i'll see you in a minute bye bye so I have my little cutting mat here. I've got my Cricut Air in the background there, which I'm not going to be using. My Joy is over there. And here we have the puffed, or puff effect, uh, 3D effect vinyl, okay? So I'm going to pop that on there. And I am going to cut a piece in a moment. But first of all, I'm going to go to my iPhone, okay? And I am going to go to my Cricut app, which is there. Now I should have uh, the design on here already. So we're gonna go to projects. There's my design, I'm gonna keep previous. So it's got free the mind, relax and breathe and think happy thoughts. So I'm going to be stitch, um, I'm going to be cutting that out, okay? So I've designed that already. It's all grouped together. I'm gonna to click on make it, it's so easy with a mobile phone. Go to mat on mat. And then up here on the green, I'm going to click on that so I can go down and I can click on reverse design. Okay, so mirror, basically. Mirror design. And then if I want to change the amount of copies I want to do, which I don't, I'm going to leave it to one. I can change that. Then I close it. Then I'm going to go to next. And it should pick up my Joy. There we go. Joy. I absolutely love this app and I love the Cricut Joy. I think it's so easy to use. Right, now we're gonna go into all materials and I am gonna go, I'm gonna just pop in here vinyl, vinyl. Oops, it would help if I could spell it right. Vinyl, okay. There we go, and premium vinyl is what I'm gonna use. It's on default pressure. Premium vinyl and then now we're gonna load it. I'm gonna cut out my vinyl. Got my vinyl. And I'm going to pop that onto my mat. So let's pop that on. Now you're going to pop it down, mat side down, okay? So we're going to pop that on. Yeah. Yeah, okay, like that. And then we're going to load it into the Cricut. Okay, I'm gonna unload. Right, so there we have it. Take that off there. So you know you've got this little thing here that comes off your weeder. So what you can do, turn that mat over. Not that it makes any difference. And it does surprisingly weed quite well. So considering it's quite some thin bits there. Okay, so what we're gonna use this little tool for here, is it's got a little um, groove down there. Okay, so we just pick out these little bits, these small bits, and we can just pull them off in there. It comes straight off of that. So we haven't got to faff about and lose them elsewhere on the table here. So look how quick that is. 
Look at that, look. How amazing is that? Yay! Now all the practice I've had of this, I want to get this one exactly right, so I don't want no messing up. So I'm going to clean as I go. I'll empty that at a later date, so I'll pop that back on, put that in there. Make sure there's no bits laying around everywhere else. I need to cut that again in a minute. Because I'm doing it with an iron, a house, household iron, I want to get the um, hottest part of the iron on it. So I, only, I don't want the tip of the iron. So I'm going to cut this in. Believe me, I know what I'm doing. I um, have practiced it <laughs> over and over. So I'm going to cut each word off here so I can do one at a time. I'll just use some scissors, that would be so much easier, wouldn't it? So, one, two, okay, so we have one, two, three. So I'm going to leave those to one side over here while I prepare my shirt. Let's pop the cricket back over there. All right, so I've got my heat mat here. Uh, I'm going to pop my iron on, I'm going to put it on my hottest heat, here's my sweatshirt, okay, now I've pre-creased it, so I've got a crease going down here, but I'm going to just do it again with the iron, so I'm going to fold it up in half, okay, so here we go, fold it in half, okay, and I'm going to iron down the centre there, I just want to iron down here, just to mark that a bit more, I'm going to do the other side as well. So I've got my little crease down there. I've got one of these here. Now I've measured it. This is how I'm measuring mine, okay? Because this is right for me. So I want it just about there so that the design comes here, okay? So it's on the center there, center line. Now I'm going to get my um, Think Happy Thoughts because that's going on the front, okay? But I'm going to put the word happy in first and I'm going to center it. So we've got about there. Okay. So there we have our happy thoughts. So I'm going to pop that one on first. All right. And I've got my iron, it's all ready. And I'm going to press, I'm going to put it straight down and I'm going to press, I'm going to put it at this point of the iron, the bottom point. And I'm going to press it down for eight seconds, okay? So, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's all I'm doing, okay? And then I'm gonna peel that off. There. Now, that should be perfect. Right, now I'm gonna do the think. So now we've got our thing in place. And again, I'm just going to make sure nothing touches the other bit. I could use a piece of, um, what do you call it? All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Again. Look at that, look. Oh, it's getting easier. The more I do it, the easier this gets. Think happy mind. We don't want that, do we? <laughs> no, Kim. Um, I absolutely love this. I really like it. I think it looks gorgeous. Right, and again, just make sure the iron's over it, and not on the other one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Peel off. There we go. Touched the iron, didn't I? But it doesn't matter. Right. So that's that done. And that is looking really nice. I love, I love the colour. I really do like the way it's turned out. I love that. Now then, so we don't need that anymore. Now for the sleeves. Okay. So we have that look. Doesn't that look nice? I know you can't really see it that well there, but it. Oh, it looks. I love it.
Doesn't that look lovely? I'm so pleased with these. Really, really pleased. I think that looks absolutely stylish. Very nice. And look at that look. I like it. I really do like it. There we go. You see that? Yeah. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Yeah. And we've got our. Yeah. And. Yeah. How nice is that? I think happy thoughts. Very pleased with that. I really, really like that. So there we go, all finished, all done. I think that looks really, really nice. I'm so pleased with it. Really like it. There. Think happy thoughts and... So there we go, all done. That's the result from the puffed vinyl okay which is really nice i really like it and you can get it in loads of different colors i've got some pink which i'm not sure if i'm going to use that so i'll have a think about that but we're going to finish off today with a little card reading okay this is moonology these are oracle cards and we're going to read one card so this is our card for today okay our card for today so got a bunch of cards here i'm gonna just give them a quick swoosh like this I'm gonna pick one, okay. I'm gonna pick one, I'm gonna pick one from the top. Okay, so we have, what do we have? We have a win-win outcome is forecast. Oh my goodness. Now that sounds very, very positive. Full moon in Libra. So we have, look, there we go. <laughs> look at that, look. So we'll have a look at that, okay. So we have this card here, which is a full moon in Libra, okay? Full moon in Libra, and it says it's a win-win outcome is forecast, which sounds very good in my books. And we're gonna read a little bit from this little book here, okay? And it says, the full moon in Libra, the sign of partnership, of falling in love, and of closely relating to someone else. Since full moons are about climaxes and conclusions, this card suggests you're either about to start a new relationship, well, not with a man anyway, maybe a new relationship with business, who knows, um, or that an important existing relationship is changing somehow, perhaps coming to an end or moving to a new level of commitment. It's important to remember that people come to us for a reason and sometimes just for a season. If a relationship is ending now, it's doing so at the right time, so try not to fight it. This card can also refer to a professional relationship, which is what I've just said. Now, I didn't even, I haven't read this before. There is a sense that you need to balance your ego with someone else's needs. You need to balance your ego with someone else's needs. Um, let me think. There is a sense that you need to balance your ego with someone else's needs. So basically that sounds to me like it's saying um, you are, You've got to balance it with someone else's needs. So you've got to uh, work around somebody, um, do something for somebody. So it says, there is a sense that you need to balance your ego with someone else's needs. A win-win outcome is possible with give and take. Doing so might be the answer to your question. So give and take. Now I'm gonna to have to look at that one, think about that one. Attune to the moon. Actually, I think I know what that means that could mean I mean these are gonna mean different for you for you guys out there they're gonna mean something different okay so I'm pulling these cards out and I'm pulling them out for all of us okay so every time I do a card reading I am gonna aim it at everybody okay now I'm not gonna be doing this all the time it's just it's just a bit of a, a bit of fun and yeah I love doing these sort of things but it's just a bit of fun okay so yeah um, so attuned to the moon it says let go of that which is falling away additional meanings for this card see the other person through the eyes of love it will change your perspective it's time for you to make a firm decision time for you to focus on yourself for a while look after yourself but avoid vanity now is a great time for a makeover this is all sounding pretty true for me 
the teaching it's got here no matter when you pull the full moon in libra card it encourages you to find a balance between your desires and those of the people around you balance is a very live libran energy and the full moon brings things to a peak dramas and upsets bring partnerships to the fore libra energy also brings love energy negotiations are easier so it all sounds pretty that sounds pretty um what's the word positive in my eyes okay so there's our card reading for today there there we go so if you want to go out and get yourself some of these cards actually i could pop them on my um etsy shop down below i will i'll do that no i know it sounds silly to some people but things like this you know things that are very easy to just pick up it's just a box of cards and it's like a self a bit more like a self-help thing as well so you pick a card for the day if you're feeling a little bit um off you know off peak you know you're not feeling that great or even if you're feeling good you know just you go in go go to your cards pick a card they're simple to read and you've got a little book and it's so easy to just flick through there's not much to read either you know and it gives you a little bit of a if you've got questions you want to ask or something then you can just go to the these cards honestly i'm a great firm believer in all of this kind of thing and i do you know i do like it but there you go moonology there. oracle cards um so that's another self-help thing and like i said shirts to help you get through the day i mean i know you know <laughs> i know it sounds really silly but something like this where I can just look at my sleeve and I'm reading it straight away, relax, relax. And then here, and breathe. Just reminds you, doesn't it? Reminds you to just chill out a bit and yeah, chill out, relax, breathe. Give your mind a break. Um, you know, I've been through a lot of stress in the last few months and it's not been nice. And some of the thoughts were very dark thoughts and you know now i think i'm coming out the other side and i think i'm getting through it all um yeah so i'm still doing my crafting i'm still doing my embroidery and i'm still doing my art i said to myself way back that i was going to try and cut back on things and yeah i have in a way i get i got rid of my massive machine massive she says my 10 needle machine i got rid of that and i got myself a little single needle machine and i'm having fun now i'm just having fun with it life's too short to just be work 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 all the time and filling your mind full it's that full of stuff that you don't you basically sit there and you don't get anywhere that's what i found anyway that's me overthinker procrastinator um yeah stressy stress head stress head that's another one <laughs> i am a stress head but um I'm learning now to let go of all those things, let go of negativity, let go of let go of the people that, you know, come into your life but then go out of your life. Let them go. They don't they don't matter anymore, you know? If they're not with you now, they don't matter. You know, it's all about you. Um yeah. I'm babbling again. I babble too freaking much. I babble too much. Yes. I like working on my YouTube channel. I like it. It gives me, I have my art, but it gives me, oh, but by the way, for those of you that d don't know that I've got um, another channel, it's called Kim Thane's Art Channel. Please go look it up. Please give it a follow, uh, subscribe to it, and have a look at the videos. It's a little bit different and I will be changing it up a little bit um, as I get, get better and better at it. Uh, but I'll be putting all my art videos on there, okay? There's not gonna be my art vlogs on this channel anymore. Um, this is gonna be for embroidery and the Cricut, stuff like that. Um, I have been busy painting, but I am not gonna show you those because they are for my other channel. <laughs> right, I think I'm gonna go now, I think. Yeah, 
I hope you liked today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And I've already said this, I don't know how many times. Please comment, like, share, subscribe. It really helps the channel grow and it helps get my videos seen. I would appreciate it so much. Thank you. Um, I did say about doing a giveaway at some point and I am on the ball with that. So please watch out for that because, yeah, I'm not going to say any more but I am going to be doing a giveaway at some point in the near future. But it's all surprises. You're just going to have to keep watching. You're going to have to subscribe and then you're going to find out then, and only then, what I'm going to give away and how I'm going to do it and so on and so on and so on. Right. I think I'm going to go. And I enjoyed making this video because it was something positive for me. Something that I feel good about. And do you know what? I think the card's right because it's giving to others. Give and take. Turned you off. It's give and take, like the card said. Give and take. And I feel that I am giving to others a sense of peace of mind. I know it sounds ridiculous to some people, but having that affirmation there, that, you know, saying, Free the mind, um, think positive thoughts. You know I've got that cup with think positive thoughts on. And it reminds you. Check out my Etsy shop. All the links are down below. And check out my art channel. I might put the link for that down below as well, actually. I don't think I've done that, but I will. Otherwise, go to Kim Thane's art channel. I'll put it across the top here as well. Uh, yeah. Bye for now. And thank you so much for watching. And I'm going to leave you with the outtakes, which honestly... Hmm, don't know if I should put them on because some of them are a bit, well, make me look absolutely stupid and yeah, I'll say no more. Feel free to watch them. Bye. Oh, hi. Good morning or good afternoon or good evening, wherever it is, wherever it is, wherever you are in the world. Today we're going to be making a sweatshirt. Well I am anyway. This is going to be, I don't know what it's going to be to be honest. I don't know. Look at this. I absolutely love this and I think I'm going to need to wear it a lot more than what I have been. Which isn't very long because I've only just made it. This is puffed, this is puffed, it's puffed something. Hang on a minute, let me find out what it is. I don't really know what it is. <laughs> Only joking. Relax, relax, and breathe. But instead, no, I don't relax and breathe. I just think all the time. I need some proper glasses. These are verifocals, and all I can see is a blur. If I put my glasses like this, there we go, I can see now. I can see perfect. Hi, everyone. Hello, everybody. Today, we're going to be doing... Oh, look, there's a close-up. Let's have a close-up. This is so much better when it's close-up. There we go. I can see myself. Hi, everyone. Today, we're going to be doing some... Um, uh, actually, we're not going to be doing some designing. Oh, get it right, Kim. Take 255,000,000. Now, that's an idea. Oh, that wasn't me, honest. Oh my goodness me. I just farted live on YouTube. No, it wasn't live, was it? See, I can't get that right either. It's not very nice out today. Look at this look. Hey, look at that. We have light from the salt thing. The joys of living in Cornwall. Well, I think a lot of the UK is going to get hit by this. Storm Eunice. I think that's what they're calling her. And there's a Storm Dudley somewhere as well, but I think that's up in Scotland. <laughs> and not to be laughed at. How it goes tonight. <laughs>